And right here in New York City, that controversial ban on supersized sugary drinks that was supposed to go into effect today has now been overturned by a judge. In his ruling yesterday, that judge called the proposed 16 ounce limit on sodas and other sweet drinks arbitrary and that its loopholes defeat its stated, stated purpose. The ruling is a victory for the beverage industry and a defeat for New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who is now vowing to, of course, appeal. Being the first to do something is never easy. When we began this process, we knew we would face lawsuits. Anytime you adopt a groundbreaking policy, special interests will sue. That's America. The ongoing legal battle creates uncertainty for New York's restaurants and other establishments. Many of them had already made changes to their menus and also even purchased new glasses to be in compliance with the law. Not a shocker at all that that got a little messy in the 11th hour. Yeah, I'm still not convinced that I want anybody to tell me how much I can and cannot drink. But you look at the obesity stats, I'm not, you know, I know the nanny state argument, but the obesity is a huge, no pun intended, problem in this country. And, uh, you know, I think I think it's hearts in the right place is just whether it's overstepping is the question. I think that's I think that's the biggest question. Some people are worried that he he's overstepping his bounds and he's done so much to overstep in the eyes of the people who are against this. The smoking bans outside, the commercial bans as far as the awnings go on the buildings. Yeah, he's done a lot. Mm, let's let's continue the debate over a big gulp <laughs> later <laughs> later this morning.